Bong, 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 bong. Hey, Paul! Huh? I like it cause you... Don't kill me! Patrick Master B. A seemingly normal 27 year old stockbroker. He's cut. By the way, Christian Bale was crazy in this movie. It's been so long I've seen American Psycho. I mean, my God, it's been so long. Into the homeless. What a fucking loser you are. Huh? I hey. tell you, he deals with women like a gentleman. Oh my God. Fucking master, bro. He refuses to break his mewing shoes. Oh, excuse me, dear. Do you know where I can find in here? Oh, my God. <laughs> and if he's feeling man. lively, he'll even eat a little bit of ass. Right ass, nigga! <laughs> but behind his high-class demeanor... This is batshit crazy! <laughs> this is too, man. I'm dark-skinned nigga with a nappy-ass dress, and I'm gonna go through and explain every single person who passed up in this movie. Let's get straight to the kills, you know? So we're gonna start right here with this MTV Cribs ass intro. <laughs> I can't believe I never react to his videos. I've seen his videos, but I can't believe this is my first one ever, man. The luxury penthouse, random ass, expensive art. He's two seconds away from copping the Hellcat and flexing it on IG. Look at this. <laughs> then he walks out in his tiny whiteies and gives us a get ready with me vlog like he was a lifestyle YouTuber. Okay, guys, so first off, I take a shower. Oops, excuse me. <laughs> so quirky. Then I use my 13 in 1 shampoo. Yes, bitch, it's That's not that bad. And finally, I ended off with my 3 in 1 Doritos face yes. cream. Anyway, so he's doing all this skincare to get ready for work. He works in New York. The home of crackhead doing random sh and rat boxing and soup. I wonder if he's ever visited Ock and was like, hey, yo, Ock, word to my mother, let me get a bacon, egg, and cheese. Yeah, put a girl's head on the side, you And make sure it's the Ock he wears. First, you put the woman on the grill. Anyway, so he pulls up to the office, locked in. He's already new and he's on timing. But what's he putting in those headphones? Is that? Yeah, you in the cold. This is stupid. Me listening to songs about killing people and selling drugs. On the way to record another five times. Yeah, <laughs> then we get a basic rundown of his day to day life. Frizzing girls in the office. You look nice today. Don't wear that outfit again. What? <laughs> Rizzing random woman in the street. And by Riz, I mean following them home. Ah. This is stupid. Ah. This. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he Ted Bundy her ass that same night. This was the imposter. And then he takes her bloody remains to the laundromat and rizzes the Asian lady working there. Oh, yeah, I'll just see. You don't shut your fucking mouth. Sheesh. I will kill you. Sheesh. Oh. <laughs> 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 the hard. But I swear, Christian Bear was, was something else this way, man. First real kill of the movie, we see him taking a leisurely stroll on Crackhead Boulevard. No, but seriously, who the f told this man to be dripped to pop out in these streets, looking like a school shooter on his way to the nearest kindergarten? Anyway, so we stroll down the same alleyway Bruce Wayne's parents met Michael Jackson in. Damn. Oh, yeah, look at him, bro. <laughs> he's tired so bad. And the smoke in the back and everything, he wants to be a part of the club so bad. Anyway, so as he's walking, he looks to his left and discovers a level 10 homeless kid <laughs> laying there. And instead of doing what a normal person would have thrown a f***ing garbage can at him, Damn. he decides to... Talk to him. Hello, homeless nigga. <laughs> no dumb f wrong movie. It's I, Mr. B. Wrong movie. And today, we're gonna change this broke nigga's life. Yeah. Oh, thank you, sir. I haven't eaten in 10 days. That shit stank down it. He was two seconds away from signing him to Wall Street Records, giving him a 4 p.m. chain, and surrounding him with like 16 high-level BBL demons. But the second he opened his fat mouth, and that devious odor of giraffe ankle and baboon pussy hit this man's nostrils, he said, yeah, you're mine, nigga. Anyway, so he sits down with him, and he's like, oh, did I see you? I bet you won't fill me out. Why don't you get a job? And the homeless guy's like, I... I can't get a job. Stop the cat. <laughs> What's your name? Ja Jaquavius. Jaquavius. Of course. Listen, get a goddamn job, Jaquavius. Anyway, so Patrick starts feeling bad for him and decides to offer him the 4 p of chain again. And the hobo is so grateful, he starts glazing the meat off this man's dick like, Oh, thank you, big bro. Thank you, big bro. The biggest of bros. And Patrick don't mind until he touched him. Look at his face. In that instant, you can see him imagining the 30 years of homeless nigga ass freaks that were just chilling on his hands. And you know what? He looks like he was about to let it go. Until you remember the wise words of his big homie. It does not come from the influence of the virus, you jackass. It has to come from the same virus to be in the same family. Viruses coming down. Stop touching niggas with the hands. 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 
COVID-19 uh, didn't exist yet, but he wasn't trying to be the first nigga on earth to catch Hovola. And that's when the real Patrick Bateman came out. You yeah. are a worthless, bitch-ass nigga. Your life literally is as valuable as a summer end. Your Damn. life is not. You Damn. serve zero purpose. Damn. You should kill yourself. Damn. Damn. And give somebody else a piece of that oxygen. Anyway, so he pulls out a briefcase and the hobo's watching him like he about to give him some cash. <laughs> Look like that nigga from the Wendy's drive through He <laughs> thought it was his turn next. What? No! Yeah. But Bateman said, F Mr. Beast, we OJ Simpson tonight. And stabbed this <laughs> man three times! Damn. Allegedly! That was a sick fuck turn around and started crap stopping the man's dog for no reason! He just walks away. Look, he's doing it again! <laughs> Okay, so to explain the context for this next kill, <laughs> for, we're gonna go back to when the whole office had a Christmas party. So Patrick walks over to confront his biggest op, which is this nigga named Paul Allen, who is literally in the middle of rizzing the bitch Patrick Bill Cosby last week. Damn. Damn. I ain't gonna lie, that's disrespectful, bro. If I saw someone trying to steal my girl like that, I would've yelled from across the room. Man, oh, no. He walks over to him and they both hit that awkward ass fake smell. White folks be hitting as they walk by you. Be looking at you like, oh my god, please don't rob me, nigga. Anyway, so Patrick <laughs> hates this man's guts. Like, he goes to church to pray for this nigga to lose all his bitches. In his DM, <laughs> sending him sad TikTok slideshows, trying to manifest his downfall. Like, bro, all because he's sexier than him, gets better bitches than him, has easy access. That's a young Jared Leto, by the way. To this nice ass restaurant called Dolphin Fuck. What did you say? Nigga? <laughs> I mean, Dorsier. And because he had a nicer business card, which in wealthy nigga language is the equivalent to your girl DMing a random nigga asking for his workout routine. <laughs> because she wants you to look just like him. <laughs> All this hating and Paul doesn't even know who the fuck he is. This is important. <laughs> he thinks Patrick Bateman is this other guy named Marcus. Anyway, so after the party, they go on a date and Paul's sassy ass is complaining about the restaurant selection. Like, how are you going to take a bad nigga to Cheesecake Factory, bro? It's giving him on a budget. It's giving, uh, I'm in poverty. Anyway, so then they have some thought provoking <laughs> conversation. I like to dissect girls. Did you know I'm utterly insane? Uh, <laughs> I did. What the fuck? <laughs> this light skin wanna be fuck Paul Allen. Not only has he been trying he to so steal young, Marcus's man. girl, he says this about Patrick's Damn, girlfriend so right to his face. Evelyn. Great ass. Goes out with that loser Patrick Bateman. What a door. <laughs> Does he know? Another martini, Paul. Oh yeah, he's definitely finna kill his ass. <laughs> anyway, so fast forward a bit, now they're back in Patrick's humble abode. First off, look at this motherfucker man spreading wide in the gap between my teeth. Close your legs, buddy, we know your dick ain't that big. Anyway, so Paul's drummed up the Casanigo. You know what they say. That's a new Gap yeah, between our teeth is the same, man. Oh my god, pretty cool. Patrick's been fighting <laughs> all night, like. Yeah, we don't get him drunk. No, we're gonna turn him out. What are you saying? Anyway, so Patrick whips out this tape and he's like, You guys wanna hear sicko mode or Mo Bamba? Yeah. Fuck it, we're listening to You Know Miles tonight. Anyways, he starts yapping about how You Know Miles is the greatest rapper of our generation. Goes to the bathroom and pops a perk 30. I guess if he's gonna kill somebody, he's gonna be tweaking out like Kodak. Then he grabs his axe and hits the worst uh, moonwalk I have ever <laughs> seen in my entire life. Bro, it's not Michael Jackson. And he got that axe straight out of two. Like, that shit is oh, not gosh. real. Anyways, so Paul starts getting suspicious. He's like, uh, why is there newspapers on the floor? With his wife's gonna have voice. Imagine just like, shut up, nigga. <laughs> raincoat? Yes, nigga. You see, yeah. I don't drink, but I refuse to believe My it. nigga says this wouldn't kick in seeing the missing person section <laughs> spread all over the floor, furniture covered in tarp, and this man wearing a raincoat inside like we're about to get into a squirt off. And oh, worst of all, if a nigga start playing you know Miles to end the night, he is not mentally well. <laughs> hey, Paul. Huh? I like your cut. I'm just trying to Proceeded to mash that O button, turn his dude's head into tomato soup. Oh, Shout out Shen Boy RD. Just spamming that heavy attack. He thinks he's the god of war. Anyways, after that, he immediately went back to mewing. You sit back and realize this was all because Paul had more emotion than him. This is unmatched levels of hating, bro. He just goes back to like a Sims 4 NPC and lights up a blunt. <laughs> New op pack in the air, this gas or what? He still be alive right now if you niggas ain't gas or what? Oh, that's blood in his mouth, and he's not worried about catching AIDS. He got that Magic Johnson mentality, bro. Damn. Damn. Despite being a handsome man and having a whole ass girlfriend, Patrick likes to clap hooker booty cheeks sometimes. He hitting it from the back when he's trying to hit quick time events. The first time he clapped some cheeks, was a mission success, but the second time he had some trouble. He was down the streets and dudes would do anything to get some hoes, bro. You are yeah. not Jay Z. Why are you pulling up in a limo to pull prostitutes? Bro? You know what? That's not even the weirdest thing that he's done this movie. Flashback. Hey, you think you can have a better cancel tilt than me, huh? I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you. Huh? I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna
Stop chill. He's just a uh, so okay random queen. man. I didn't know you liked niggas, Gotcha. <laughs> I want you. I want you too. I am a man. A man who's gay. <laughs> you like niggas, get that to your head. Ten. A flashback. He pulls up and picks that was up so his good. Russian mother, and he's telling her, "Hey, come in, I got some candy." But she's like, "No, last time I had to go to the hospital. I think you broke my vagina. I got twenty dollars." Yeah. Oh, she lied. Which is crazy because last time this sicko took a coat hanger and used it on her coochie like he was trying to lock the car door. Anyway, so they get to the apartment, and this man Bateman wastes no time. Bill Cosby being the drink. This is the fastest sex offender I know. He gets down. Russian mommy hmm. tries to give him a compliment. This is nicer than your other apartment. Whole time, this isn't even his apartment. This is Paul Allen, huh? and even after his death, he's still hating. Not that nice. Anyway, so this is player three. She's actually kind of bad. Either that or Mr. Winter Soldier. Either way, she just gets a clap. And ew, you can see this man's whole booty through the blanket, Hell bro. Nah. Russian mommy tries to sneak away while Patrick's distracted. And this is that shit I've been talking about, bro. Niggas will go to McDonald's and refuse to eat pickles on their burger. But then turn around and do eat ass! Yeah. Russian mommy ain't into all that, so she does a dash, dodging obstacles and turning corners like it was subway surfers. And she opens this closet door and finds two girls hung up like Montclair coats! And puts another door on, what in the fuck is this man on? I can't show this! Then she hears a hellcat in the distance and tries to run to it. But never mind, this nigga just casually has a chainsaw. So she starts running Jeez, again. Bitch, stop opening doors! <laughs> then this dude comes in, says fuck the chainsaw, and starts trying to nibble on her leg. Oh. Breathing God. heavy as shit. What is wrong with this nigga, bro? I'm about to hit that like, I gotta censor on this man's whole meat hanging out. But holy, stop skipping leg day. Anyway, so she finally makes it out. And let's take a moment to mourn our redhead wife. She probably up in heaven turning Ooh. up to pop smoke right now. <laughs> back, baby. Woo. back to business, though. She's doing the smart thing, running up to random people's doors, screaming like a dumbass. <laughs> Call me a bad person if you want, but if I'm hearing all this ruckus, I check my ring camera and there's a God. booty naked nigga with a chainsaw chasing you. None of my business is none of my business. <laughs> I love how this man had the time to grab the chainsaw, but couldn't find the time to put on some goddamn pants. Anyways, so she's booking it down the stairs, but to make it to the escape point. But it's like Patrick got that mama mentality. He yelled, Kobe! Kobe! I don't know how the world Patrick made this. Such a clean shot, dropping that damn chainsaw. I don't know how in the world that's happened. She should have dodged that. No, Ain't no way. And he snipes her ass just Ain't before no she escaped. Way. Fuck the American Psycho. This man's the American Sniper. <laughs> so here we finally are. When Patrick decided to just go batshit crazy and kill a bunch of people. Anyway, so he's walking around downtown. Hey, Mr. Hey. Motion over here trying to get into an ATM who can run a scam. Everybody listen up. This is a punch lesson. Go and get a fire car to site. Go to the dump section. Before he's able to secure his house. <sighs> oh, cat, however. A wild cat appears. Here, kitty, kitty. Wow, that's that's the Wait, most normal thing. He's shuffling inside the ATM, yeah. Yeah, yeah never mind. He just, just started crazy. jamming that little motherfucker in. Like it was Draymond trying to jam a senior in James Harden's eye. He even pulled out the strap like, bro, you know Peter is watching? Those niggas do not play. Then this old lady comes out from the corner like, Um, excuse me. Have you seen my cat? Nigga, what the fuck? Oh, 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 Send your idiot granny right back to the lobby. Imagine your whole life putting away money in a 401k just to get packed up by a random motherfucker viewing on the street. Listen up, young males from the ages of 18 to 26 do not save money. Take out that high interest loan on that Hellcat now! <laughs> Anyways, immediately after that, the Popo spawned in, and now Patrick got three stars like he was in GTA 5. But he really tried to walk away acting all nonchalant, like, bro, there are no bad bitches out here, bro. Rob. He tries to get a car, but realizes this isn't actually GTA, and cars on the street aren't gonna be just randomly unlocked. Like, this is downtown New York, nigga, come on. If what you don't hell? put a lock on your hot dog, I promise you someone's gonna steal it. Anyway, so after running a little bit, he gets cornered and the office is like, Hold your fire! This man isn't black! Oh my god. He's black! He's black! Shoot him! <laughs> Sneaking into a whole last shootout! But this man Patrick's out here moving like he got Michael from GTA 5 special ability. <laughs> don't miss! This man is literally standing in the open with his cock and balls out. How are these officers not hitting him? They gotta be aiming off a Nintendo Switch, bro. And how the fuck he blew up two cars with that tiny ass pistol? Mickey Mouse's dick probably got more firepower than that shit, bro. Look at his face, he doesn't even believe it himself. All of this and he hasn't broken his mew and streak even once. He might be the greatest ever to do it. He's the most of you. 
Not that he's because now those over to his office to hide and wait out his wanted level. But he runs into another Caucasian male hitting that fake smile. Uh, wonderful weather we're having. Huh? Damn. Straight popped his ass and got back to skedaddle. Then this janitor walks out, so Patrick hits a little ring around the rosy. And no scopes his ass, like, come on, bro, you don't get paid enough for all this. I just meant hitting the default of <laughs> the pose. Then he continues skedaddling again, runs over to the next office, and sees this innocent old man minding his business and reading the him. newspaper. And of course, this fucking fiend reaches into his pocket, looks him dead in the eye, and pulls out a pen and signs oh. him. Then just when you think Uncle That's right. safe, Patrick walks into the elevator and starts crying! Basically, at this point, Patrick's fully could pick up the helicopter and I'm searching for him. All he can do is sit down and start crying and call Lester. <laughs> <laughs> The next day. <laughs> Can't handle the heat, my friends. Okay. Crazy edit, though. Holy shit, that actually works. <laughs> hey guys, so some of you have been wondering why I haven't been uploading. Uh, it's because of this little fucking shit right here. You trash nigga. You pissing and shitting all over my fucking house. YouTube's been beating my ads for demonetization, copyright, all type of bullshit. If you want to support the channel or support the puppy, the Patreon is back up. And I left an Amazon wish list. Y'all want to buy stuff for my little nigga right here. Like, y'all, please. <laughs> Oh, right. Oh, wow. Damn, this was hilarious. This was absolutely freaking hilarious, man. I'm there for re to more old Wulo's vids, man. Wow. I can't believe I actually got a chance to react to most of his. <clears throat> but whenever he drops a new one, I will react to it soon. Trust me, y'all. Um, coming soon, I will try to get a chance to do reaction recommendation or requests because I know I've kind of missed out a bunch of vids so far this month. I think so. So, yeah, hopefully everything will turn out for that. For that so yeah i will hopefully next month start next month i'm gonna start doing reaction requests so i will hopefully post that maybe like around the first of february i'm gonna do more reactions hopefully whenever i don't have much more to do but yeah house squad that was hilarious that was freaking hilarious great job great job una Wolo. great job so house squad if you enjoyed my reaction to ua Wolo's recap of american psycho so, if you may please, hit the like button, comment, share, share your thoughts. How, how many times have you seen American Psycho? How long is this movie? And for me, like I said, it's been so long I've seen American Psycho. I know it came out about 2000. I mean, damn. It, it's crazy it came out 2000, man. And Christian Bale was something else in this movie. And uh, overall, the cast is actually pretty stacked too as well. I know I think Room Dafoe is this movie. Reese Witherspoon's in this as well. Some names I can think of. Of course, Jared Leto, I saw him. In this movie as well. So yeah, House Squad, please stay tuned, y'all, because I have my trade reaction of Avatar The Last Airbender in a few moments, y'all. So I'm sorry for that. So please stay tuned for that.